Greetings one and all. We thought as we get close to the end of term that we might do another update. Uh, particularly in this building, great progress has been made. We're coming into the finishing stages now. As you'll see, there's a lot of action going on. So here I am in the dining commons. You see they're attaching the roof. Uh, the floor has been finished and we'll gradually migrate our way out of this building. Still a lot of work to be done in here, but this will be accommodation for around 150 or so students at any one time just to sit and relax. Outside the building, the deck is starting to take shape. Uh, it's a timber deck that will surround the, uh, from north to south and on the western side, reaching Rosewood. And I think students will really enjoy being able to relax and go out there. We're going to walk this way. Here's the kitchen, so the students will have the point of sale here, be able to access uh, the things that they need. There'll be a bench over there for their toasties and their microwave to, so that they can do some self-catering as well as have some prepared food that they can enjoy here. Student services office will be here. And in this lovely room here will be a student lounge. Um, accommodation for people just to relax, chat, um, grab their food. If they don't want to sit at the table, they can sit here in the student lounge. There's some big nest of tables and some lovely seats to enjoy in this space. Um, loving the way the ceiling is looking in these spaces. You'll see the, the wonderful acoustic treatment that's going on in the ceiling that will help the whole space uh, feel alive and organic, but not too loud. So this is the breezeway. To my left, uh, I'm looking at the avenue. To my right, out towards Main Oval and the rest of the campus. So this will become a focal point of interaction between Rosewood and the rest of the campus. Um, and of course, our beautiful trees, the forest hub, as we were calling this space for quite a long time. And we're just starting to see a little autumn color come into those beautiful oak trees. Now let's go into the incubator and see the progress that's been made in there. So this is the incubator. We've talked about this space. It's, it's for student study. In this section here, we can do some uh, group study if needs be, work together, have conversations. Not a lot of noise, but some uh, quiet conversations together. They're just setting up now the quiet carriage. Uh, they're just installing the glass uh, fixtures to separate the incubator from the quiet room. And you'll see the dramatic impact again wonderful ceiling treatment to restrain acoustics and to have the space still very organic while enjoying uh, this lovely outlook. The northern part of the incubator, the students will be able to step straight outside onto this timber deck which will wrap around. So again, another lovely place to sit. Then they'll be able to walk down onto a path that will lead us up onto the sound stage or, or back up onto uh, Finlay Walk. Or of course, as we'll see in a few moments, straight across the bridge um, that is starting to take shape. In there is the quiet carriage and you'll see when all of the building equipment is out of there what a lovely physical environment it will be. There'll be lots of blue light and lots of green light to help everybody's mental health while they get on with the challenging job of delivering the HSC. So we came our way straight up to level two. If the ground floor or first floor is where the incubator and quiet carriages. We came straight up the stairs. There's a lot going on on level two, so we don't want to be here for too long. Um, there's a lot of work and some dangerous equipment around, but I'm standing in the uh, study where the heads of houses will be located. The senior school office will be immediately on the western side or to my right from where I'm looking. So we're going to be putting, fitting some acoustic panelling. Uh, again, you see this beautiful timber, which gives such a a, a lovely warm organic feel to the whole building is exposed in this space and a, quite a stunning outlook across Rosewood will be enjoyed by the people in this room. Uh, Mr Giltrap and his team will look back the other way towards the southwest, back towards Main Oval, um, Phipps Taylor and the Junior School and have the lovely treescape uh, that protects our fields on that side of the campus. Um, so we enjoy the treescape and the high Blue Gum High Forest that we uh, have in this part of Sydney is a special feature of the Barker campus. So we're coming down the stairs that connects level three to level two, straight opposite this, and between this building and Rosewood is one of four of these little spaces. They're just study nooks. So we'll have these comfortably furnished. So students who might want to just sit here and relax either between lessons uh, or if they've got a study period uh, or after school, or mornings for that matter, they can actually just be in here and, and uh, work. So the building is extremely versatile, it's beautifully designed like that. We're going to go up to level three. So up on level three, we've come up the stairs and through this 
beautiful picture window here, I look back towards probably one of the nicest views that we'll enjoy in the school, straight across Main Oval and Phipps Taylor. Again, uh, starting to take shape with this lovely timber floor is the study nook that replicates the one that we saw just downstairs. This is now on level three. Um, so the building is very versatile. We're going to have a look at where the maths staff will be located because every student will want to know where the maths teachers are. So here we are in the maths staff room. It's a double size space so that all of the maths teachers who are currently scattered across different offices in the school can all be located together. You won't get this fragrance that I'm enjoying now of a combination of the timber and yes, admittedly some, some of the new carpet uh, smell, but uh, lovely for all of that. Again, the natural play of light. I love the geometry of the building. I love the play of shapes and angles and the exposed timbers sloping ceiling that moves from east to west uh, and the gradual sense of quietness and the natural environment that this building tries to emphasize. Head of maths and meeting rooms are uh, all located uh, across to the west uh, and then the chain of classrooms all the way down to the bridge which we'll now wander down and see. So I'm right above the breezeway at the moment up on level three. The avenue and the tallest point of the avenue are pretty close to actually the tallest point of the avenue, such as the slope of the land, back out towards um, the main oval and the rest of the campus. This floor will eventually have timber, much as we just saw. Again, the lovely feel of warmth uh, and light, uh, but the really interesting angles, squares, ang uh, shapes, triangles, um, that really make this a pretty special place. So you come up the stairs and you'll have this space and the classrooms on, be, on either side. Let's go and have a look at a classroom. I'm in now the northern eastern most classroom on level three. And you can see that I'm surrounded by trees. I look straight across to the McCaskill Music Centre on my left and on my right, uh, the Kefford Building. Uh, and this space, you, again, you can't see because the camera doesn't always capture it. But the, the stillness uh, and the calmness in the room, uh, when you have natural light and the foliage outside and the revealed timbers on the inside, the acoustic panelling on the wall makes this a very successful place in which to learn. At least that's our intention. So just closing off now, we're here on the deck, straight outside the dining commons. This marvellous shape of the building that will become a bit of a landmark feature around our school. Complements Rosewood magnificently. And the students will be able to sit indoors or outdoors, move comfortably around from, from Finlay Walk, around without having to go through the building onto Rosewood. Um, we won't miss the, the metal bridge, I have to tell you, the Meccano set bridge that crosses the avenue, that'll be gone soon. Um, but we're really excited about the progress that's been made and everything that this building promises to deliver for us in the academic life and the cultural life and the sheer enjoyment of being around Barker.